Good morning, Aries. This reading is for you. I hope you're getting ready for the holidays that are coming up. When I meditated on your energy, of course, you know, it would only be obvious that I see you at a lot of social gatherings at the moment. I, I see you gathering with friends. I'm going to pull some oracle cards for you. Let's see what's coming out. We have Uncharted Sea. So, I think that you're going to make a lot of new discoveries during this last half of November. I think something's going to be discovered by you. And you also have Beyond the Ordinary. So, of course, Aries, you are Beyond the Ordinary. And you also have Great and Full. So, I feel like at this time, you... You're in a pretty happy state at this time, Aries. I think that this time is actually going to be pretty bright for you. I think that you're in a pretty good place. I'm feeling that you're in a pretty good place in your life right now. Let's see what else we got. We got rebirth and reinvention. So, yeah, I think that you are, are you reinventing yourself? Are you taking a lot of time out for yourself, Aries? If you, if you aren't, this is a very good, time, very good time to do so. I feel like you are going to make a lot of progress. Yeah, affirmations for growth. So, yeah, and I think this is a very good, this is a very good time to focus on yourself, focus on your feelings, on your needs, on your wants. I feel like you'll be growing during this time. I feel like this is this is going to be a really nice time for you, Aries. And you know what? I think I'm going to pull some angel cards. I haven't pulled angel cards in a while. I think I'm going to pull some angel cards and see what they have to say. Let me grab my glasses real quick. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I bumped the camera, of course. Okay, Aries, what angel cards do we have right now? Okay, we have Ariel. New psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. Yeah, so that, that's exactly what I was thinking. You... This is a very good time for you to concentrate on yourself, to concentrate on your renewal, your rejuvenation, um, four of swords kind of energy. And you have Zana. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. Yeah, so spirit is really... really reiterating that it is a good time for you to rest it is a good time for you to really show yourself some love right now concentrate on you and your growth at this time it's a great time for you and building your growth yeah you have the four of pentacles what else we have for you oh we have the tower okay so a lot of change 
a lot of changes coming. This may be something that's unexpected, but the tower can also be like a blessing in disguise because a tower moment is meant to change something in your life to kind of put you towards the path of your destiny. You have the Two of Wands. You have the Hangman. You have the Death card. You have, uh, yeah, the Four of Swords. Okay, so yeah, I was feeling that energy for you. You have the Sun. And the Three of Wands. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Chariot. So yeah, I think that you are moving. You are moving in the direction of your destiny. And I think with the, the, the Tower and the Four of Pentacles, you are actually, you're holding on to something really tight here. But I, I feel like there's freedom. There's freedom in this action of the Tower. Because this change is actually leading you towards your destiny. You're, it, it's leading you towards a new transformation, a total ending and a new transformation, which is going to take you right into the sun. So this is something that's actually needed at this time, Aries. So and I think with the hangman, um, your spirit guides are letting you know that you have choices to make. You are looking towards your new journey. You are you are needing to make uh, you are needing to make an important choice. And then once you make your choice, you need to surrender. You need to just let the universal wisdom just take control. I think that's the reason why you have the chariot on the bottom as well. Because the, the chariot on the bottom, these two sphinxes, these two sphinxes are, they're being led by the chariot, but there's no reins. The universe is leading them. And the chariot driver, they're actually trusting, they're trusting in the universe where they need to go so they're actually moving towards their destiny by faith so they're living by faith in order to move in the right direction and i i think i'm, I'm feeling that's what you need to do at the moment aries i feel like you should let your faith take control let your faith take control and just fall into the destiny of it. Just, you have the death and um, restoration here. This, this is a total transformation. And you are resting and recovering. So you're going within. You're going within pretty deep. And it could be that, that maybe you're becoming more spiritual at this time. Um, which isn't very, it isn't very, you know, it isn't very surprising because, I mean, this is a very spiritual time of the year. We have Thanksgiving coming up. We have Christmas. Um, no matter what you believe in, this is a very spiritual time and we also had the eclipse that just happened which also provides you know rest rejuvenation releasing things um, releasing any neg negativity from your life releasing any people or things that no longer serves you 
and you know and that also came with a a blood moon so that it, it was actually more intense <clears throat> so yeah you could be releasing things at this time that is going to bring you more spiritual contentment that's going to bring you more happiness in the end i believe but i it could be that you're going to be going on a journey pretty surely aries you could be making plans you could be making travel plans um That could always be the reason for the the two of wands and the three of wands along with the chariot what what's your destination aries make sure to put that down in the in the comment section i'd love to know your destination okay let's go ahead and get a little clarification for these cards Okay, we want we have two that come out. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles and the Chariot. So yeah, we definitely have confirmation that you'll be moving. And it could be because you have come into some money or maybe you've been saving some money. Um, maybe you've been saving for this trip for a while. Either way, uh, you are definitely moving in some sort of way. Either you're going on a trip or you're moving physically. Okay, with the Two of Wands, you have another two cards to come out. These cards really want to speak to you today. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups and the King of Wands. So, you may receive a communication at this time. Um... Maybe from someone who you were involved with or you are involved with. Maybe they'll be the ones inviting you on a trip. And the King of Wands, it's going to be, well, it's going to be a trip to remember. With the Death card, you have the Six of Cups. So with the death card and the six of cups i believe that you're moving away from the past you're moving away from any traumas that you had in the past you are kind of putting those aside you're putting those to end maybe that's what you let go of during the eclipse season because we're going to be feeling that for a couple more weeks but i, I feel like you're letting go of a lot of guilt, shame, and pain. Hmm. Very deep, Aries. Very deep. Okay, with the sun, you have the Five of Cups. Okay, so I feel like you're letting go of any disappointments. So, um... You can move on into your happiness. I definitely feel like you're releasing emotions and, and past pain and hurt. I'm kind of feeling that for you, Aries. I feel like you're you're more than ready to move on. I feel like you've been kind of stuck in a spot for a while and now you you're finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, what is this tower? Okay, with the tower, you also have the strength. So yeah, I feel like this is a blessing in disguise. This is you focusing more on yourself. You're, you're changing things so much in your life at the moment, Aries. I feel like... I feel like this is a huge change. 
And it's allowed you to finally focus and give yourself the attention and the care that you need. You have great strength, Aries. You are the warrior. Okay, with the hangman, you have the judgment. Yeah, so you're definitely going into a renewal. This is a this is a renewal and a rebirthing period for you. You are actually coming into your destiny as um, closer to being the person that you're destined to be. I felt like you've done you've done a lot of work on yourself just recently. Maybe you've come closer to understanding what it is that you feel is, is your purpose. But I feel like the decisions that you're making are very good decisions. I feel like they're, you're actually very focused on your future. And with the Nine of Cups, I, I feel like... I feel like your health, because you're focusing on yourself now, I've, I've, I'm feeling like this Nine of Cups and this Four of Swords, this is your health. This is you regaining your good health. This is you focusing on yourself and putting your past ailments behind you. Maybe you've been focused on your weight or your your eating habits for some reason this could be for a very few of you but I'm also feeling like like maybe you've been dealing with diabetes you've been dealing with struggles in your your weight and your thyroid that's what I'm feeling okay and with the three of wands you have the sun so Aries, you have the sun twice in this reading. So these disappointments mean absolutely nothing. You are totally letting these disappointments go. You are totally on your right track. You, you are heading towards your happiness here. You are, you're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on your future. I feel like you've got support during your focus too. But I, I'm also feeling like with these ships, I feel like you're going to be traveling. And you're going to be traveling and it's going to be a very, a very fun time. I feel like you're going to have a lot of fun on your trip. You're going to be very focused. You could always find love at this time, too. You have love, the lovers at the bottom of the deck. So it could be that you're going on this journey with someone that you care about, or you can find love on this journey. You also have the Ace of Wands. So, yeah, this could definitely be a new passionate beginning. This could be something that brings you inspiration. And you have the Empress as well. So I feel like you're very focused at this time. You're very fertile. You're very abundant. Um, wow. Very, very interesting reading. Aries. Let's get... Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think this last half of November, I think this last half of November is going to be really nice for you, Aries. Um, I'm getting pretty excited for you. Wow, okay. Yeah, you have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So yeah, I feel like you're really focused on your growth. And you have at the bottom service. So I feel good when I can help others. So maybe during this time as well, you'll be volunteering or you're, you're going to help someone who's in need. Um, 
but I'm feeling like <laughs> this is going to be a very exciting time for you. Let's get a message from the universe. What does the what does the universe have to say before we end this out? Let's get a message from the universe. Okay. <laughs> my vibes speak louder than my words. Yeah, so I think this, this is definitely going to be... And yeah. Okay, happiness is my birthright. So... Aries, wow, this is going to be a very exciting time for you. I'm so happy for you. I'm while I'm doing this reading, I'm like getting more and more excited because I'm, I'm I feel like if you're not feeling it yet, Aries, I feel like you will. But I feel a, an excitement, an exuberance, a um, a renewal of my spirit as I'm doing this reading. And I, I feel like that's you. That's your energy coming through, Aries. Wow. Okay. I love that. I love this reading for you. I really do. This is a wonderful reading. Now, Aries, if this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising if I have those uploaded. If not, check back within a couple days and you'll be able to find those. And thank you so much for watching. Many blessings to you. Love and light.